birthday to you. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. And today is my birthday. I'm super excited. Today is October 13th, and I'm 27 years old today, which is wild. I just got off the phone with my mom. She called me and wished me happy birthday, and it was so cute. But now I'm gonna make a little breakfast. I'm super hungry, it's almost 10 o'clock now, so I'm gonna make a breakfast, maybe have another cup of coffee, and we're just gonna like take it slow this morning. It's gonna be nice, I'm super excited. Starting my morning off with a little peanut butter oatmeal, little coffee, my favorite little coffee cup. I have my laptop pulled up here. I'm answering some emails. I've been responding to some sweet, sweet messages. I also uploaded a vlog this morning. It's a little fall vlog, so be sure to go watch that. Yeah, I'm also listening to the Molina Ciciotti. I think that's how you say her last name. This is her vlog. I love her. I'm obsessed with her. She has a baby and two little toddlers. She's married and she's just like the sweetest human ever. So I'm going to watch this and eat my breakfast. It's much later in the afternoon and I have just been working from home. But Jackson got me the most beautiful red roses he brought them home on his lunch break they're so beautiful and i love them i'm such a sucker for flowers especially roses so, so i love these they're so beautiful we had lunch together and then he went back to work and like i said i've just been working most of the day and now i've started to get ready we're going to dinner tonight i'm not really sure where we're going yet he keeps asking me where i want to go and I really don't know where I want to go. There's several places I would enjoy, but I'm not really sure. But yeah, did my hair and my makeup. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to wear. Hi. Hi, sweet girls. I've been doing my hair and my makeup. I put my extensions in and hopefully Hopefully they don't look too terribly bad. I feel like the last time I got my hair done, she, since she carried my roots down, it's made it a little bit harder to blend my extensions, but it's not a big deal. I definitely wanted it. I'm trying to figure out what I want to wear. I want to be cute, but I also don't want to be uncomfortable. And with pregnancy it's kind of hard so hopefully I'm able to put together a cute outfit I have a couple ideas I'm not really sure yet okay here is the first option I'm wearing this black bodycon dress the bump <laughs> is out to play and then I put this little super cropped turtleneck over the top of it. I've been wanting to wear this. I've had it for a long time and I just haven't had the right piece to wear it with, but I think this is really cute. It might be the look. I don't know. To be determined, I might end up changing. I don't know what shoes I want to wear yet with it, but I do think it's super cute. Look at this precious little angel. Girls, if you're wondering if you, you had the best boyfriend, newsflash, you don't. I do. Oh, so you pop out the shaded area. Yeah, babe. But, like, don't you put it on the pumpkin first? 
we pop out the shitted area, I think, first. Jackson got us, um, oh, sorry, Harlow. Uh, got us pumpkin carving kits. I'm so excited. I haven't done this since I was little. Why is this not sandy? Ah, so crooked. get this what the heck mm. cheers oh this is good shout need, out shakespeare's you need a ah, screen off bar stool sport <laughs> hasn't it it's on yeah i forgot that you did visit it the, it's actually the number one pizza yeah uh, for college town you need to send George a picture. I know. Of your. I should do it to send it to Katie too. Yeah. She, she sent me the sweetest text today. Did she? Yeah. They're such great people. Yeah, they are. I need to sit up here. I thought I was gonna. You better change your angle. <laughs> okay, Mr. YouTuber. <laughs> uh, production coordinator. I will. I feel like I got a pumpkin on my under my shirt. On your yeah. Hi baby. This little girl is so scared of that. She's so scared. I love you. Mommy will give you a little bite of a pumpkin. Now I already smelled mine. I was like, yeah. Really? So freaking long. Make sure you make your hole big enough so you can get in there. Oh. You didn't think about that, did you? No. I've never really carved pumpkins. I mean, like, since I was a kid. And your dad did it for you? We never did it. Like, he didn't cut it open and take no, everything out? We for never him? did one. Like, we never carved them. Really? Yeah. No, we did. I was deprived. Well, I'll talk to Brad about that. <laughs> this is a tradition you and your family have done? Kinda, yeah. That's cute. I mean, once we got older, we didn't, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we never... Here's your boo! Thank you. I'm doing this one. The house? Frick. Don't cuss a lot because I'm gonna have to edit that out. My bad. <laughs> Dang it, I can't do that one. Why? Already... You ripped it? Yeah. Too You're only supposed to take out the shaded areas. You well, can't fix it? I can keep it. I can fix it. I just am not as artsy. Son of <laughs> I'm not very artsy, so like I don't think I'm gonna be as good as oh. Why don't you freehand it? Do you think you could freehand something? Like freehand, um, cause I was gonna do like a pretty in for Nikolai, but. Mm, that wine is good. I am having one glass of wine. You could do the witch. Man, I really wanted to do that one. That sucks. Oh, I'll do Frankenstein. Oh, excuse you. What is your mommy doing? Pumpkin is really good for uh, dogs and tummy aches. Really? Yeah. You could do a jack lantern and make it look like it's throwing up. <laughs> throwing up all these pumpkins or seeds. Mine doesn't have very much seeds in them. It doesn't? Mm -mm. I haven't really looked at mine. Like, there's a couple, but. 
Would you like to try one? Can you try it? It's so hot. It's slimy. I'm gonna watch this back and edit it. I'm gonna hate my dog voice. Oh, that, that's a good one. What is it? This hair is going to be hard to do. Oh, yeah. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. I did not vlog very much yesterday or last night, but with that simply because it was such a good day. I'm going to prop you up here for a second. I ended up working yesterday and decided to take the day today, which I'm really excited about. Today's Friday. I slept in this morning. Jackson woke up and let the dogs out and fed them and closed the bedroom door because if one of us wakes up in the mornings, they like to be up and going. So he allowed me to sleep in and he left for work and I got to sleep until like 8.30, which was so nice. I haven't done that in so long. And now I'm just in bed relaxing, having a slow morning. I have some stuff that I want to do today, but nothing I have to do, which is so nice. Also, Harlow's being so crazy right now. Yeah, you're being a little crazy. And we're trying to vlog. We're, we're trying to vlog here. But anyway, yesterday was such a good day. Jackson got off work. I got to open my presents. I'll show you guys what I, he got me. He got me some good stuff. He's such a good listener and a really good gift giver. Then we went to dinner, my favorite place, Domenico's, which is like a little Italian place here. And I was debating on going to a couple different places. I couldn't decide where I wanted to go, but we, I decided on Domenico's. It was so good. Then we came home and you told me that we had an activity to do and I was so caught off guard. I had no idea what he had planned, but he went to the garage and pulled out pumpkins and like a carving kit and we had so much fun. So, we carved pumpkins. Then I had like a small glass of wine. Yes, you can have a small glass of red wine when you're pregnant. And then we basically just went to bed and had a really good night. It was a great day. But yeah, that's led us into today. So, I'm going to watch a little bit of YouTube. I'm enjoying my coffee this morning and then I'll get ready here in a little bit and we will go run around. I have some errands I need to do. Yeah, so anyway, there's a little birthday update. It was such a good birthday. Thank you guys so much for wishing me a happy birthday. What are you doing, Har? Come here. Come here. Harlow does not want me vlogging right now. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for sending me all the kind messages and the sweet gifts and everything it was very very nice but anyway i'm gonna stop vlogging i've been so lazy this morning i finally got ready and i'm wearing my birthday present one of them anyway jackson got me the micro mini i think they are uggs they are the classic ultra minis and he did so good i'm obsessed with them this cute little card, my favorite candy. And he said there's something else in the mail. I have no idea what it is. Whoa, whoa girl. That's what he got me. And then his mom got me these little furry slides that I've been wanting for when we go to the hospital for the baby. And I think they're so cute. I love them because they're like super comfortable and thick but they're super cozy and I think they're just gonna be so fun. Today is going to be a errands day. I have some stuff I gotta do. I gotta get my girlfriend a wedding shower gift. Her wedding shower is tomorrow. I need to get my nephew a birthday gift and I also need to go renew my license. So some not so fun stuff going on today but it is gonna be nice 
because I have the day off. So I'm super excited about that. I am gonna load up my stuff really quick and we're gonna hit the road. <sighs> hmm, do I have a story for you guys? So today I decided that I was going to get my license renewed because it expired yesterday, right? Because it's my 27th birthday, it's due. So I told myself I had everything I needed and I was going to adjust you a little bit. So I told myself I had everything I needed and that I was going to renew my license today. Well, I got in there and they proceeded to tell me that I have to have a birth certificate and or passport to renew my license, which I don't have either because I have never had my birth certificate. My mom has always kept it. I've never needed it. It's in a safe spot in their home, whatever. And I've never had a passport because I've never been out of the country. I've never needed a passport. So anyway, I had to go to the health clinic, the health department, get a birth certificate, which is right here and uh, get it printed off. And now I'm headed back to the DMV to wait in line even longer than what I had before because I had waited 45 minutes for them to tell me that I didn't have all the documents. Now, I'm saying this because I know everybody deals with this. I feel like I've never been at the DMV completely 100% prepared. I try to be, I thought I was today, and turns out I wasn't, but Everybody goes through it. The DMV, man. It's such a fun, fun time, right? I'm not going to show my information, but we have a license. Hallelujah. So it is a couple days later and I realized as I was editing this vlog, I did not film. I didn't really film my baby shower. It went great. It was absolutely beautiful. I am going to make a photo montage and show you guys everything because it was, it's just too perfect to not. So I put that before this footage. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. But now I want to share with you guys some of the things that I got, some of my favorite pieces, and there's some good ones. So here we go. Okay, first is my diaper bag. Teresa and Brady, they are the sweetest people, and they got us our diaper bag. I believe it's from Etsy. I'll try to link it below. I think it is so cute. It's a little bit more yellow than I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more like brown or beige, but it's still so cute and yellow is my favorite color. So I love that. I also received these personalized gifts from my sister-in-law. She's a little rattle. And she also gave me the cutest little wooden camera. I think it is so adorable. We also received a ton of little toys, little rattles, stuff like that. And I put them in this cute little basket. We've also been accumulating a ton of books. I'm really, really excited about this one. This is the baby's first year book. I cannot wait to start writing in it and adding photos. And as for clothes, we got a lot of clothes at this baby shower. 
which I'm so excited about. We have so many. Like, how cute is this little sweater? This is actually from Walmart. And if you guys haven't shopped Walmart's baby aisle, you need to. There's some really, really cute stuff. Another one that I'm loving, my friend Kale got this for us. It is from a little boutique that our friend actually owns. It's a baby boutique, and it's called Oakwood. Check it out. I'll try to link her in her Instagram down below. She's so cute. And I also got like a little denim romper for my grandma. Tons of these open little like gowns that you can just tie at the bottom if you want. I am obsessed with those. They're going to be so nice for at night. Not having to undo buttons or snaps. My friend Sam got us these cute onesies that I'm obsessed with. They're so, so precious. So many good stuff. Once again, Nala thinks that this tummy time pad is hers, which is so cute. I don't know why she likes this thing so much, but it's adorable. And then one of my favorite gifts of them all was from my sister-in-law. She actually made these and they are little bonnets and i am obsessed she had one made if it's a boy and one if it's a girl and i just i'm obsessed i think these are so so beautiful they're gonna be something that i can hand down to generations to come and they're they're just literally gorgeous so i love that She's actually who threw my baby shower and she did an amazing job. Everything was perfect. So that was just like the cherry on top and I'm obsessed. And then my parents got us this little halo bassinet, which we're going to just leave here in the bedroom for now. And I'm so excited. When we set this up, it just kind of all hit that, you know, there's going to be a baby in there. So how freaking cute is that? And this little Muslim swaddle is from Etsy. I'll try to link that as well. It's by the brand Getting So Crafty. Very, very cute. I am a little sad that I didn't film more, but it was everything just went so good. There was good conversation and it was nice to be with everybody and I really wanted to be present. So I didn't really get to vlog much, but I do have the photos and the memories to remember and I'm so so grateful Jackson and I both just feel so grateful to have the family and the friends that we have and to live the life that we live and we just can't believe it but anyway thank you guys for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed and I will see you guys really soon in my next vlog bye, bye.